Hi everyone, I'm Marie, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build an employee assistant that can quickly find information in documents using Cortex Search, a fully managed hybrid search and retrieval service in Snowflake. With these types of assistants, organizations can help drive productivity and collaboration by making information easily accessible via conversational applications. Before we jump into the demo, let me quickly go over Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAY, which is a popular architecture used for employee assistance. So Retrieval Augmented Generation can be broken up into exactly those three steps. First thing you want to do before asking questions is set up your service that turns documents into vectors by breaking them up into pieces in a process called chunking. This is what will be used to augment. Then, once you have that repo of documents available in a vector space, you can ask questions to it. What happens in the search side of things is that the question also gets embedded, and then the ranking algorithm finds the most relevant answers. This is the retrieval. But if you stop there, all you get are chunks of text. What we want are tailored answers to our questions. So here's where an LLM helps turn chunks of text into coherent responses. That's the generation. This seems complex, and in a way it is, but it's not really hard to implement. Snowflake has all the pieces you need tightly integrated, so it's pretty easy to get things set up. Let me show you my code. Okay, so to set up the document repository and make it ready for search, I have to pre-process the documents. I pull data out of the PDFs, and then I chunk the text. Both of these can be done with a simple Python function that I was able to grab from a quick start. It was very easy, so I also decided to add in chat logs to be used in the knowledge base I'll search for. Once you have that, the next thing you want to do is build the search service on top of it. The Cortex Search API will put all of our documents in a vector space and create an endpoint where we can ask questions against that repo. So far, just three functions to do all of that. Okay, let's try it out. I have a pretty simple chat app that I built on Streamlit to give it a try. All right, let's ask, are Tasty Bites trucks available for private events? What is the cost? So when we do that, automatically the text is being embedded and the search begins. Also, it's doing both semantic and text keyword search to get the most accurate result. And it was pretty fast. It's done. So we can see here there's a base fee involved with getting it for private events and a minimum sales guarantee. Also, because this is an API, I could expose this in the customer service internal app pretty quickly and have a few reps try it out from that application. Okay, now, one thing that would be nice to know is if this came from an internal document or a chat log. So we can add that in. Let's go to the code. So first thing I want you to notice about the code is that it's not a lot of code for a pretty sophisticated chatbot. Streamlit handles all of the chat functionality with their chat elements. And then I just need to call Cortex Search here to get the most relevant document and then call the LLM in a single line of code. Going up to the Cortex Search part, we created the knowledge base and indexed the documents on the chunks of text, but we also have it return the source description. Um, so we're able to surface that up in the app if we want to know exactly which document it came from or even if it came from a chat log. So I'll show you what that looks like when we add that back in. Okay, now let's ask, are there any vegetarian options? Uh, one of the things that often comes up with support agents is that they waste a, a lot of time finding answers to simple questions like this one. So here we see there are vegetarian options. And when if we look at this, we can see the source. This came from a previous customer support chat log. 
So that shows a simple question like this has been asked before. Okay, and you might be wondering which LLM I'm using here and how did I decide to use it? So different models have different strengths and can handle different complexity based on how they were trained and how large they are. I've been using Snowflake Arctic, but I can easily switch to a different model like Mistral Large and ask a question here. So let's ask Mistral Large, um, what cities are your trucks in? Being able to easily switch to a different model makes it very straightforward to find the right model for the application you need it for. And there we have our answer from our different LLM. You just saw how I was able to build a document chatbot all inside Snowflake. There was no infrastructure to manage or having to do integrations with embedding or vector services. To learn more, be sure to check out the resources in the comments.